Hi guys, Andy here. Um, I happen to be in possession of the Galaxy S5, the HTC One M8 and the Sony Xperia Z2 all at the same time. Um, so I'm going to start off just today with the unboxing in this case of the uh, Sony Xperia Z2. I've had a bit of experience already this year with the Xperia range so I had the uh, Z1 Compact very recently. Um, and before that I had the Xperia Z Ultra, the huge big 6 inch device. Um, the Z2 is Sony's kind of latest flagship really, it's uh, running all the best specs you would imagine. Uh, it runs also a 20 megapixel camera which can shoot 4K video, so I'm quite interested to see how uh, that matches up with some of the other devices that shoot 4K. Um, generally I've been a bit more impressed with Sony recently. I quite liked some of their phones before but then uh, I really like the Ultra and I really like the Z1 Compact um, so I'd be very interested to see how the Z2 uh, particularly compares to the HTC One M8 and the Samsung Galaxy S5 which I think most people would think that it's kind of a two horse race in some ways but then there's devices like the Z2, um, a few others about that, that are in with a good shout really against them. So anyway, we'll have a look today at uh, my first impressions of the Sony Xperia Z2. Right, so let's see how we get in. Yep, easy enough to get in. Fair enough, similar kind of box layout as the, uh, the HTC One M8. Wow, that does feel quite, quite big, quite clunky. Let's just pop that aside initially. Just check the rest of the box contents. So we have Sony earbuds. We have the USB cable, regular micro USB, and then we have the uh, slidey connector, Sony power adapter. And then we have a warranty, startup guide. Um, please be aware that the pre-installed application in this phone are not representative for all markets countries. The pre-installed application will vary on a country by country basis. Really? I need a bit of paper for that? Okay. Startup guide. Home screen. This is the home screen. Yep, I think we're good with that. What is Android TM? Google account. Alright, well you know, some people won't know. If you don't know, check my beginner's guide, obviously. Assembly look. How are we going to get in and get to our different bits and pieces? You can see there it has got a micro SD slot as well as obviously SIM card slot. <clears throat> They're all hidden behind little flappy uh, flappy doors though because it is IP58 certified and I think the 58 is the, well, the bit I've read says up to, well it actually says over one metre for 30 minutes. Well over one metre that you know, three kilometres is over one metre. Surely you can't take this down to a depth of three kilometres for a minute. So I'm not quite sure that somebody English wrote those words, understanding what the word over means. So let's have a look. Interesting, the the bag that we saw the HTC One M8 come in was a sort of quite nice, almost fabric-y feeling plastic. That's quite cheap and, I mean, not that it needs to be anything special. Um, we've got the protective, be very careful with these. Sticks straight to my fingers, get off us. And on the back, because it is, I mean, well, I assume it kind of feels glass front and back. Uh, we've got Sony's own little magnetic connector thingamajig there if you so desire. So I, I quite like Sony's design. I, I won't lie, I like I do like the design of the iPhone. I like kind of your thin, flat front and back. I like that. Look at that. Beautiful. Um, so when you put it on a table, that's not wrong when it's sliding a little bit, but that's because it's quite a shiny table. Um, but I do like your sort of slab, slabo phone, I call it. Well I'm gonna do now, anyway. TM. I registered that. Slab slabo phone. New from Android Andy. Um, so the Z2. I'm trying to remember if I had the Z1. If, well, not that I had. I think I probably looked at the Z1, but I can't remember. Z1 Compact definitely. Maybe I didn't have the Z1. Z1 Compact had a little while ago. Um, and I do, yeah, I do. I like, I like the design. It's kind of uh, squarish, slab like. Um, let's have a look in. How many times can I say slab in the uh, unboxing, do we think? So there's the micro USB port. 
inside there. Oh, the chuff, do we, is that a pop-up? Does it pop? Do we get a fingernail? Okay, so you need a fingernail to... I think. So that's like a little tray. Is that a tray? Yeah. For the SIM card. There's probably a better way. Maybe I should have looked <laughs> a bit closer at those instructions. Maybe it tells me I'm supposed to do that. Right, so that pops back in there. Nice. Micro SD even says, I don't know if you can just read that on the camera, it says on the edge, micro SD there. Uh, and again, I think you're needing the hell. Uh, so I see in there, I see the micro SD slot looks normal. We just, re oh well, I'll try obviously. Do we just sit it into I mean, that's a massive big tray, that's like a regular SD the tray. Anyway, in she goes. What else do we have on the device? So, the right hand side, dedicated camera button. I am a bit of a fan of a ded dedicated camera button. Uh, volume rocker, very small volume rocker, but that's fine. Uh, why, you know, why not? Why not? What have we got on the top? Looks like a, looks like a, maybe a noise reducing mic at the top there. Obviously the mic, the uh, headphone jack, a lanyard, See, just look at that. I think, I mean, not necessarily at the holes, but just, I, li I like that design. I think that looks, as phones go, I think that's, that's nice. Um, I'm guessing that's a speaker? The three holes, are they the mics? Is that a speaker there? Who knows? The camera, it, does it say there? It's 20, yeah, 20.7 megapixel camera up in the corner there with obviously the LED flash. The front facing is a 2.2 .2 megapixel camera. Obviously we've got the light sensor, earpiece. Let's see if we can find the power, oh, the round thing, the power bell, isn't it? Kind of obvious, silly me. I was looking for like a lengthy button for some reason. So, I did notice with the Z1 Compact, a bit of a smudge magnet on the old glass front and back, and I, I think I can already see that happening with this. But that's fine, we can, I don't mind cleaning. Okie dokie, when you're ready. I would imagine what we're going to need to do is I'll need to log in through a variety of things when it finally, finally boots up. While it's doing that, let me talk about the actual internals. So, Quad core 2.3 GHz Crate 400 CPU running on the Snapdragon 801 chipset. The 801 chipset being the new kind of element, the Crate 400 and the Adreno 330 GPU inside. Quite old, I think they were in the last sort of generation of uh, top end smartphones. I've mentioned the cameras, um, would be interesting. I wasn't massively blown away by the Z1 Combat. I'm a bit worried by this, why is it still? Uh, but obviously we'll see how that goes. Uh, the screen itself, 1080 by 1920, kind of the expected standard now, over 5.2 inches, gives 424 pixels per inch, plenty enough for anybody. Hopefully it's about to kick into life. So I was about to show you the screen and it dimmed itself. Um, the camera, one interesting thing, so it's 20.7 megapixels, it can film in 4K. Nothing massively new, I suppose. I think my Note 3 can film in 4K, um, but that'll be an interesting comparison, I guess. Uh, I am aware of the important information. Please insert a SIM card. No, just let me connect to uh, Wi-Fi. Yeah, whatever. So, oh. Um, yeah. Please, right, so I'll log into this and the Wi-Fi and I'll be right back with you. Interestingly, it's not asking to uh, to retrieve the information, just to back up the information, which is fine. I don't find it quite annoying when it... Uh, some people, I guess, must lie that it just brings all your apps back that it thinks you had before, but I seem to end up with apps that I just haven't had installed for a long, long time, and it thinks I need them. Um, it's running quite a bunch of updates. So, uh, let's start while it's doing that. Uh, so, sorry, settings. Just double check. So about phone, it comes with Android 4.4.2 installed. You can see there all the different uh, information. If that's important to you, we'll just check for. Oh, 
Okie dokie, I wasn't particularly, I was more thinking of the old system, system's up to date, I'm fine with that, let's come back out. What else might you want to say, oh languages, people like to see what languages are installed on, where, where, oh language and input language, so let's work, okay, we are at the top, so I'm going to scroll through, use whatever you want to do, use to, lots of different English, interesting, lots of different Espanol. Uh, por favor, español, uh, señor. No hablo inglés. Uh, okay. So, what I'll do, I'll wait for it to finish its updates and then I'll come back to you. Alright, it's just finishing off the last updates of the apps. So, we're basically about ready to carry on looking through. That is updated, why is it telling me that? Leave me alone now. Okie dokie, so. Fairly usual looking stuff there, really. Um, let's take a look at the camera. Oh. Go on then, half pedicle please. Camera. Yep, took a little while to open, but that might be. Remember photo look, yep, remember photo location, please. Whatever. So let's check for. Uh... Yeah, reasonable speed. Not super fast, a bit of the weird, funny bouncing in and out first. No, let's use, uh, use Sony's photo album to look at it. Swipe down, take the full, okay. Right, oh. I can see the dust on his head, that's pretty good actually. <laughs> so, I mean obviously I need to do some better testing than just a, a brief tap indoors, let's see what the different capture modes are, so these I imagine, oh, there's the 4K video, interesting. Let's try a little bit of, uh, of, our, of our mate. That'll be in the, uh, somewhere else, my 4K video sample. Time shift, video record, high rate, okay. Background defocus. Go on then. Do you want to? 30 to 60 centimeters. Mm, yeah, whatever. And make sure the background is five meters away. Oh. Hold the camera steady. Set focus, tap the object on the screen. Then what? Is that it? I press the no, so I press the Yeah. So everything's clear at the bottom. Everything's heavy at the top. I can see it working. Look at the back there. And to be fair the keyboard is very close, so you know it, it was saying to us you can't necessarily you know, you don't expect it to, or well, you can change how the blur is. Okay, so you could, if you're, if you're trying to make something look like it was moving, we'd have none of that. We'd have a bunch of that, perhaps. If you're trying to make it look like, like he's escaping or something. Um, anyway, okay. No, I'm done. All right. Yeah, it's interesting. We are, I'll try that obviously outdoors and see if that's any better. What is it doing? You're your thinking still. Okay, what is thinking? Uh, one thing I don't, don't think I've mentioned just yet is the uh, the battery, three thousand two hundred milliamp hours battery. For a phone of this size, that's that's quite impressive. I think. Um, I know they talk about there's not really any progress made with battery development and uh, is it still thinking? But well, that's very hot at the minute. Um, but yeah, 3,200 milliamp hours is uh, is very good. 
the best of the uh, the three of them. Look at the S5, the HTC One, M8, and this. Vine, look, time shift burst, social life sweep, panorama. So you know, fairly, well, most of them fairly normal stuff. But all in all, reasonably quick shutter release, reasonably, but not sort of amazingly impressive. Um, what else do you want to see? Let's have a quick look at. So the Chrome appears to be. No, don't don't take at all. Let's go into a new tab though, and let's just browse to BBC News, please. It's fine. Then. It seems that seems quite quick and snappy. I would say um, it's very smooth as you would expect from top-end phone these days. Um, and the screen. It's not quite as bright, perhaps, as, um, let's see what we're on here. So we're on auto, but we can crank auto up a bit higher. But that's that's pretty high as auto settings go. Anyway, so I would suggest that looks pretty good. I mean, again, you know, 400, what was it, 424 pixels printed? It should look good. So what else, what else we're going to sign? Oh, speaker, let's try the speaker. Uh, yes, I don't want to try. No, you standard. I'm done. Go to my playlist. Let's go into last added. And let's. Oh, just can't decide what my last added tunes are. Still can't decide. Come on, when you're finished. I think that might be it. Uh. fair to play that track on her phone really it's never going to get to the base that uh, that the track really really has but all in all that sounded pretty good a little bit tinny but to be expected from a phone it seemed reasonably loud i will do my proper test with the uh, decibel meter to see what it can clock up um i like sony have gone a bit more sort of they've gone closer to stock these days really um oops so it's still a little bit of their own, but generally, and I quite like that in the outer drawer. Oops, didn't mean to open that. So, um, all in all, I'm not sure about that button, I'm not sure about the power button, I'm not a big fan of that. I like, I assume, we can go straight into the camera. And we can use the camera button. Um, All in all, I really like the design. I do like how Sony are designing phone these, phones these days. It does feel quite thick. Um, let's just look at my Note 3 compared to... Yeah, I mean, I suppose they're probably they're quite similar. They're not that different. Look at the size there. Shush. So now, I don't know, am I lining that properly for you to see? It's really not that different to the Note 3. So it's, it is quite a big device. Um, but uh, yeah, nice design, feels sturdy, bit of a fingerprint magnet, reasonable speaker, very strong battery, uh, reasonably fast shutter release. We will, uh, the quality looks okay. We'll see how we get on when uh, when we when we get outside with it. Um, but all in all, it, it does seem a nice device. That's the Sony Xperia Z2. I will, of course, be doing a multiple different videos using this and the other phones. I'll put them head to head, do some camera tests or video tests. And of course, in uh, could be a few weeks, I've got a few few phones to deal with now. 
there will be the review. Um, if I didn't mention before, and I have a funny feeling I might have forgotten to, thank you very much to clove.co.uk for lending me this device. Do go and have a look at the website, the uh, wide selection of mobile devices for you to try. My name's Andy though, and I will catch you all again soon.